how many people that listen to my podcast are Joe Rogan fans? I'd love to know. I think there's a few, right? Because I'm a big Joe Rogan fan. Of course, who isn't a big Joe Rogan fan? You see how I do my thumbnails um, for my clips on the show. You see how I do my, you know, captions for the show as well. You know, I'm a Joe Rogan fan. Um, if anything, I got into podcasting via Joe and via Tim Ferriss, possibly more so via Tim Ferriss, because of the first kind of book that I read, I sort of opened my mind up to having, to sort of designing my own lifestyle and not sort of um, going via the, going down the conventional route of employment and education was reading the four hour work week and then via the four hour work week i stumbled upon the blog and in the blog and then stumbled upon the podcast and all that industry and then you're working blah 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 so that's my kind of gateway and i've always been a big fan of him you know he's obviously kind of you know interviews very um interesting people from you know a huge swath of uh disciplines and backgrounds and it's always kind of really engaging conversations maybe the last few years the quality of the guests has sort of dipped somewhat but again i think in general for providing free entertainment and content sometimes five six podcasts per week most of them are you know two hours plus you know you can't really compete with joe but with joe rogan sorry when it comes to that regard and of course his you know ability to sort of introduce me to mma because i don't think i'd get involved i'd be a fan of mma or jujitsu or martial arts in general um apart from movies and stuff if it wasn't for joe rogan too so that's kind of credit to him as well and um you know just a kind of idea of sort of you know pushing yourself and uh trying to become a better you as much as you can the sober october stuff has really been helpful along the years as well like loads of good shit but maybe it's just me, but I've have felt like the last few weeks or so, or last few months, my kind of, uh, or last year, last month or so, or I've kind of stopped listening to the show in full because I'm, I'm a big, I, I used to, prior to the switch from to Spotify, I used to watch most of the videos, watch most of the podcasts on YouTube, if it's a, someone I really want to kind of see. And, but then most of the time I'd listen to an entire thing on Apple Podcasts, right, via audio. But I'd get like an indication of the what the show is about via the clips and then kind of, you know, go and listen to the whole thing. But I did most of the time listen to the whole entire podcast. So like, without a shout out every week, regardless of who was on the show. But I felt as if whenever, as soon as the podcast switched over to Spotify, permanently and they sort of you know put all the shows on the spotify app and you have to kind of play them via there and it doesn't come up anymore on my youtube and you kind of get this couple of clips that kind of direct you back to spotify my kind of daily or weekly um uh usage or listening you know of the show has really dwindled over the over the last few weeks and i don't know man i think in i think obviously short term it's been amazing for joe you know to get that spotify check have that money hit your account must be amazing i can only pick, i can only imagine what that must feel like you know after all these years of grafting and doing a thing on your own and then you know because he earns a, i'm pretty sure he earns pretty decent amount doing it by himself with sponsors and whatever maybe an adsense and whatever and sponsorships then to then get a platform um like spotify to decide to you know pump to give you a hundred million m's um a hundred million dollars you know or more just to license your podcast for a set period of time um on their platform must be amazing right and then have that check kind of clear in your account like god damn it right just incredible 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 and he's you know does a really good job of kind of keeping himself super level-headed he has a few money for generations and doesn't really act like it which is great and you do get a far better podcast i think because he's not really tethered to um sponsors or to you know corporate overlords so you do even though you don't like what he says sometimes in some regards you know he's downplaying of covid has been a bit annoying over the time and you know constantly going on and on and on about lockdowns in the california and you know how comedians are the most intelligent people in the world can get a bit cumbersome but for the most part you still do get the i feel like the raw opinions of this sort of like a middle-aged man who's essentially a master an amount of wealth that allows him to be a little bit more free of what he says and a bit more open and you know um to be less risk averse i'd say but over the last few weeks i've kind of stopped listening to the show and it has to do with spotify it definitely does and again i wonder if a lot of other fans are like that as well you've kind of just stopped listening um I can, there might be a clip or two i stumble upon that i might watch but in terms of keeping up to date with who the guests are i don't really know anymore I, the last show that i watched in full was the mark norman episode that was pretty funny 
because I'm a big fan of Mark Norman too, but I've kind of found myself a little bit, you know, pushing back from it. And this is a clip um, called Curb Your Podcast where somebody sort of like um, highlights uh, the same issue that I'm having now at the moment with Spotify. Oh no, the issue with ads, I think, because some people have been complaining that if you watch, listen to the entire episode on Spotify, I haven't actually had this problem, but he includes, I think he kind of bragged about or boasted about the that he has too many ads for spots, right? He's kind of blessed in a position where he doesn't need to put every song that ad on there because he hasn't got the room and he doesn't like mid-rolls, right? You know, as a sort of like happen and jump in in the middle of your show. Well, it seems like, you know, since he's signed to Spotify, a lot of things have changed, right? The shows that were meant to be uploaded onto another channel have never got uploaded. The Alex Jones thing never happened. The mail episodes that have disappeared, they've gone. Um, that was all a bit of a lie and a ruse. And now this idea that he wasn't going to include mid-rolls ever has changed too because now Spotify are purposely sort of injecting them in there. Now, the theory is... From my side, I would imagine, I think, you know, when you get paid a hundred million to license your podcast on another platform, you probably stop giving shits about what they do because as long as they don't get involved in booking his guest and sort of fucking around with the template or the structure of the show, he doesn't really care, right? He just does what he needs to do in terms of Joe Rogan. I'd imagine because he has that made, he has let that be known sometimes, but there are some people that believe that he is agreeing to allowing Spotify to include these mid roles uh, in his show and it's sort of annoying a lot of people so let's play the little clip here it's called curb your podcast hopefully it doesn't i don't get taken off of youtube for it because you know ben pixels are notorious for their <laughs> cooperative nature when it comes to playing clips let's play du -du -du -du. good relationship with them but talking about Spotify. i don't need them no. if they went away i have too many ads and that sounds gross to say but it is a fact I have many more ads than I have spots for ads. So if they went away, it would not hurt me at all financially because I put a limit on how many ads I do per podcast. I also don't ever interrupt a podcast with an ad. I don't do that. Right. And because I don't do that, that costs me money. But I, I just feel like the experience of listening to a podcast unbroken is so much better than listening to a podcast. We'll be right back with this word from DraftKings is here to help you make it rain. <laughs> DraftKings is America's leading. Download the DraftKings Daily Fantasy app now and use code ROGAN. Enter code ROGAN to get a free shot at millions of dollars in prizes with your first deposit. That's code ROGAN. Only at DraftKings. Make it rain. You know, it just it's, it feels gross. I have too many ads. I have too many ads. So, what do you think of that, Joe Rogan fans? Are you not surprised that he has sort of changed tack somewhat and decided to allow mid rolls, um, you know, during his time at Spotify? Or do you, like me, think it's mostly a Spotify decision to just insert them in there because they paid for the licensing fee and they're going to do whatever they need to do to make sure that they get their money's worth um, with having Joe Rogan on the Spotify platform? Let me know what your opinion is in the comments down below. Lo, 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 lo.